I'm in my fashion era, Schlatt. Are those those windbreaker pants that make really loud noises when you walk with them? Way too baggy for me. They're baggy jean pants, actually. Baggy jean pants? What do you think of that? Not doing yeah. anything for me. I Listen, I respect you as a person, but we need to get to the bottom of this, okay? You saw this shirt? Never even been to Maine. I guarantee I it. I've been to Bar Harbor. I've climbed to the top of Cadillac Mountain and and or drove to the top of Cadillac Mountain and watched the sunrise. I don't know what it's really like in Maine. Been to Bar Harbor. Fuck you, dude. I'm in Maine right now. Look at me. <laughs> Have you been to Acadia? Hell yeah, I've been to Acadia. Okay, well, listen. I'm feeling fun and fresh. I'm feeling confident and cool. And look at you over there. You're in hell. Your jacket's making more noise than your voices. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And that ring is screaming. That ring is screaming poser as well. This guy? Right into that microphone. Yeah. It's just oh, a yeah, fucking that one. metal that ring. One. What are you talking about? Fucking poser. That's what Oh, my saying. God. Sorry I didn't, like, grow out my facial hair, and then that's all I've been. Gildan 5000. Six dollar shirt. This was like a fucking six dollar shirt as well. I I got this in Maine. No, you didn't. I bought this at a building that is a blue. It was called Wild Blueberry Land. Wild Blueberry yeah, Land. You're Look making it up. that up. That Look doesn't it up. Exi- it doesn't Look it up. exist. Wild Blueberry it Land. Exist. It's a building that's that is the that is a giant blueberry, and they sell blueberry ice cream, and they sell a Maine shirt like the one I'm wearing right now. He's delusional. Welcome to Chuckle Sandwich. Welcome, everyone, to another episode of Chuckle Sandwich. We got uh, Tucker in the chat. We got Schlatt smacking his li- his dirty little lips. I did not smack him once. He's I'm been in smacking his right dirty now, little lips. Sitting at the right hand of the Father. That's right. I made it, and you didn't. You know why? And I'm your host, Fashion Ted. Because you spend too much time on fashion forums. Let me, let me, let me, let me. I'm guess. not on forums, you've been, man. You've been browsing r slash male. Don't try fashion to tell me I'm advice, on. Haven't you? No, I'm not you've on been Reddit. Been browsing r slash male fashion advice. You got a burner account on your that, no. you, that you've had for five years. Subscribe no. to that subreddit. Wrong. Yeah. Dead wrong. Yeah. Dead you, wrong. You browse r slash am I redditor. Aren't I'm you? a fashion talker. Talker. As in TikToker. I'm looking oh. at TikToks. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's arguably worse. No, yeah. it's not. I was gonna no, say no, it's not because it's yeah. it's it's got its it's got its ear to how the the world is moving, as opposed to Reddit, which is stuck in two thousand five. And so are you. Hey, two thousand five was a great time. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah, backyard baseball, playing fucking track mania sunrise from the Scholastic Book Fair. The fuck uh. do you think you are reading that? 2006 they were a year ahead the guinness book of world records for 2006 I'm, here's what i'll Figuring say i'm rocking 1995 right now with this fit rocking 1995 yeah, the jacket's louder than you are pre 9 11 it's just yeah. pre okay, okay. pre 9 11 okay. okay why did that have anything to when do when the with twin towers were were in in the new york city skyline before you came along i might add are you suggesting what are you suggesting well everybody knows you were born the day before the tragedy can we th- can we say a thing or two about mm, i don't know um the antichrist can we talk about the mark of the beast where you drink monster all the time Schlatt? i remember that you're a little bit of a okay. little bit of a guy for 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 white monster you turn flip that shit over <laughs> you think i'm a guy for white monster you, i'm a you guy for that white, shit over. white flowing luscious titty milk is what i'm a guy for well, I think that you're the de- you're the devil, and I'm looking good, and we're, I'm happy to, that my jacket is loud. Okay, maybe I'll take the jacket off. I'll just stick with the. Oh no! I'll just don't st- take the jacket off. Don't take the jacket off. You. Okay, now I'm getting mixed signals here. That would be admitting here. defeat. You'd be. I mean, this would just be. That'd be sad. Is what that'd be sad. No, it was more of like a response to the audio, the audio gripes that were being thrown out, but. Fine, I'll keep the jacket on. Welcome everyone to Chuckle Sandwich. It's, it's really a great loud, day, isn't it, Tucker? It is loud. You sound like a speak pipe recorder. Half our fans are jumbling their mic while they record. 
Yeah. Okay. Because the, like they, they record on their phones. Okay. They don't have this high quality, nice, nice microphone right here. I don't know. How was how was your week, Schlatt? Fucking hell. Give me a break, man. Well, as you can see from whatever's <laughs> behind me right now, I am not doing great. I'm I'm going somewhere right now. I'm going somewhere on this green screen. On yeah. The behind me. You're in, you're in, you could be in hell. You could be, I don't in, know. you could be in heaven. You could be anywhere. The, the opportunities are endless. And also if it's just, if the editor just keeps it to straight green screen. You could just be wherever our, our viewers want you to be. Yeah. Let me give some, let me give some green screen lines right now. Editor, keep it green screen mode. And then watch this, watch this. Ready? Ready? I fully support this. Do another one where you're like, where you're like, this is disgusting. Get this out of here. I don't want to see this. Oh. This is <laughs> what's wrong with my camera, dude? I don't I need, know what's I wrong with your camera. I need some more camera. lighting in here. Yeah, yeah. Need you need to turn lighting. up the lights a little bit. Yeah, Jesus I do. Christ. I do. I do. But listen, I'm going green screen mode. I'm feeling a little crazy today. You know, what are we, what are we doing today on the pod? Well, I mean, we. <sighs> I'm, you know, there's a lot of hot takes out there in the universe. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of hot takes. Some of them be like, oh, Ted, Ted doesn't know what he's doing when he's dressing. Ted doesn't know how to d be cool. Ted, uh, Ted, look, uh, Ted's jacket's so loud. These are all hot takes to me. Uh, and a while ago, we asked our little audience, our little, our little community, our, our, uh, uh, ch chuckler army, uh, what their hottest takes were. And so Tucker, as I've said, journeyed into the speak pipe. He went through the blood and bones. He went through the, he w waddled through the blood and bones. No. And now, now he's got something special for us. There we go. This is from squiggly line. Yeah. Their name is. Hey Ted, squiggly. Schlatt and Tucker, of course, Tucker haters. Fuck you. Been subbed to the YouTube channel since the whole thing started. Rest in peace, Charlie. My question, simple Rest and plain. Peace. Bowling or mini golf? All right. Bye. Bowling. Oh. Oh. Bowling. Yeah, so that's not a hot take, but it was recent. I thought it was pretty good. Bowling's pretty fun. There's some pretty fun bowling spots in LA, too, um, that yeah. I like going to. We call them bowling alleys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I called it a bowling spot. You're right. I should call it by its full name, Bowling Alley. Yeah. Bowling Alley. Are yeah. you... One th I don't know if you knew this, Schlatt, but being from Massachusetts, we actually have our own type of bowling that you might not even know about. What do you have? I'll show you right now. I've got a prop. Oh, yeah, he does. He's got a prop. Dude, he's showing his ass, and I don't like that. I don't like when he does yeah, that. Yeah, those, those dumbass shoes, too. He's never looked worse. He's never looked worse. Right here. What's this? What's this? What I have. What's this? It's a bowling pin. No, that's not. Yeah, it is. No, that's not. This is a bowling pin. Nuh-uh. -uh. Nuh -uh. It is. No, uh, it's not. Au contraire, I doubling down, I assure you, sir, this is a bowling pin. It's been on, it's been up on that, honestly, it's been up on that shelf for a while. This is a candle pin bowling pin from Tucker and I's hometown bowling alley. That doesn't uh, seem right. I don't like that. Yeah, it's candle pin. It's basically like uh, really, they're like small balls. They could like it's like the size. They're like the size of a bocce ball. And then these are the these are what the the bowling pins are. They're taller than like a ten pin bowling pin allegedly. Uh, and you can just whip them. You can whip them down the lane. They're awesome. That seems wrong. I don't. You've I don't. Seen that's this like a perversion of bowling, similar to how mini golf is a perversion of regular golf, and I just I don't think that's right. I had really? a ball back in the day. You have you had a ball where you bowled with. You know, you take it down to the. Oh, alley. you had your own. <laughs> oh yeah, I had you my ball. You can't just say I had a ball. Like, like you got to clarify in the context of a discussion about bowling. Yes, yeah. I can. I had a ball. Previ previously gets pedantic about calling it specifically bowling alley and not bowling spot, but then just calls a bowling ball ball is crazy. I had a ball and I had a little <laughs> bag full of powder that uh -huh. helped you get a grip on the ball. No, no, no. That's a towel. That's different. 
You'd have a little bag yeah, that you'd hold no, up. You, you kind of pop it, and it'd make a puff of smoke, uh-huh. and it smelt like vanilla. <laughs> That's surprising. Yeah, they they made them scented. They made them. Wait, so were you part of like a bowling team or something when you were a kid? Yeah, of course, of course I was. No, not of course, not of course. This is lore I've never heard before. I knew that you played baseball. I didn't know that you were on a bowling team. On a bowling team, really? Had a lefty ball. It was blue and blue and red, and kind of purple where the where the two colors met. I hate that. I feel like there's a forty percent chance that you're lying to me right now. What? But you I know too lie. much information. I, I don't know. Okay. Well, that's a bold thing to say. But uh, you fucking throw it. You um, the best game I ever bowled was a two hundred eight. You can fact really? check this across years of me saying this. Two hundred eight. Uh, huh. And okay. when did you? I'll revise this and say between two oh five and two ten. It's but somewhere when did you, when, in there. When did you play bowling? Like what years of your How life? How old am I now? You're twenty half my life ago. This no, is you're this is I was I was half as old as I was now. Um, yeah, I was a bowler. Wow, that's the yeah. coolest thing Schlatt's ever brought yeah. up. Yeah. yeah, no, that's that's sick. Yeah, man, you know my bowling alley had a little. You know where the the bowling ball pops up, goes underground, uh-huh. pops up in that little thing. It had yeah. a little air vent on that. It was a really cool one. You'd hold your hand. <laughs> Buy it and it like cool your hand off before you went and bowled again. Because you were on such a roll that your hands were getting hot with the friction. Yeah, well, that's where the bag comes into play. You'd kind of toss Jeez, it what around. The hell? And it'd book we gotta, <laughs> we gotta go we to that gotta, place in LA. Do, nice vanilla we gotta scent. do a chuckle sandwich special where we bring you to a bowling alley, man. I'd smack the fuck out of you. It wouldn't even be close. I. It would be. It would be funny though. I want to bring. Should we do that? Should we do a chuckle sandwich special where we bring you to a bowling alley? I listen. I'm I'm probably not half the man I was back in the day. So I mean, you're we'll twice as see. old. So perhaps maybe it'll cancel out then. <clears throat> Damn, dude. Well, yeah. I mean, I'm I'm pretty comparable to in terms of the question to choose bowling as well. I will say, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start gesticulating with this. I will say, uh, when my sister and I were kids, uh, we would we loved both doing mini golf. But then one time, <laughs> she and I argued so hard during one of our mini golf excursions that my parents banned us from playing mini golf like we would like they wouldn't even entertain the notion of playing (laughs) mini golf for years and so there was like maybe like a 10-year gap in my in in my employment history when it came to mini golf where i just never played it uh but then coming back to it it was it was pretty glorious when i got to i got my chance to get back on that on the green side note side note you know me as the baseball player. The mm-hmm. one thing I knew about golf and all of its perversions is that it'll fuck up your baseball swing if you play too much of that. You know? Oh, it's really? A similar, it's a similar motion, but it's just it's just off enough to fuck up your actual swing. And uh, yeah, golf is a weird told. swing too. Like I, my dad's played golf forever, and we would like he'd take me to the driving range, but I would never actually play golf. Like he would never, I never got to the point where I was good enough that like he felt like I deserved to like actually try to play golf with him. Mm -hmm. Uh, Cause it's it's like kind of, it feels kind of complicated, you know, like the whole, how you getting that small ball moving exactly how you want it. I think it's bullshit. That's true. I think it's on a wire. No. I, yeah. No. I think it's on a, I think that's what they do and it's the highest bidder. No. I don't think that. What do you mean the highest bidder? Tucker, back me up here. Tucker what do you mean knows the what I'm talking about. Bidder? No, so Tucker knows dude, what I'm no. Yeah, no, I'm a, I'm okay at golf. So no, 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 no. <laughs> like you, you, the way it works is like everybody's like there's a guy that sets up the wires, and then whoever everyone puts in a you know blind silent blind auction or whatever, and then whoever paid the most they hit the best. And maybe sometimes they don't even set up a wire, which is why some people suck. They, I don't think I ever got a wire. Your parents just told you this because you were so bad. That you they think needed, I learned this from my parents? No. Yeah. They needed something to like not have you crying the whole way. No, I figured this out That's on my true. own. That's true. All the JV bowlers on my team would say, oh, it's just the wire. That's how he gets so good. They said, it's, they said someone sets up the... The well, bowling okay. ball wires before. Answer me this. Answer me this. Yeah. If you don't think that there's a wire, I'm going to say something that's going to blow your mind and you're going to be like, Ted, you're so smart. Oh my God. Okay. 
uh, I'll give you my half of the podcast revenue. Um, basically, Damn. how does the guy who's who's filming the golf on the TV know how to track that fucking golf ball? It's this big. Dude's like fucking I'll, hundreds I'll of you, meters away. You, he goes like this. That shit's on a wire. No, he's not going like that. That doesn't help. <laughs> he's fucking that looking. Help. Yeah, he goes, he goes. No. <laughs> He starts <laughs> shivering. He starts. He starts. <laughs> he starts fucking looking for the fucking ball, bitch. He starts taking one of those pills from Limitless, and he starts locking in. Let me tell you what wasn't on the wire. Ti- fucking Tiger Woods' Cadillac as it crashed into that tree. He was driving that fucking thing the whole way. I'll tell you that much. There's yeah, no wires yeah. in his life. Exactly. I mean, but but in on the field, on there's the a field, wire. Also, no. Think wires. about it though. Think no about wires. it though. No. Think about it. No. The 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 guy who sets up the wires is in cahoots with the camera guy. He goes up and he's like, "Here's the wire movement for today," no. and then the guy knows no. exactly where to film. Uh uh-uh. uh 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 uh. Okay, whatever. We can move on to the I, next. I don't question. agree with that. I just think. Co- that I mean, a, maybe the commenters just, can say. Maybe I just the think that there's a wire. Say. No, they need they need high. They listen. If if they needed if there was a wire. They wouldn't need those insane fucking camcorders that they record the golf shows with that specifically have those lenses that stay in focus however your fucking focal length is, however zoomed in you are. It, it this, is, this is stupid, man. This is stupid. I'm not even talking about this anymore. I'm not even talking about this shit. I just think it's on a wire. It's not. Here comes Michael Brody Riley. Sup, Chuckle Crew. My name is Michael Brody Riley, and here's my <laughs> hot take. Michael hey. Brody Riley. Okay, well, wait. Yeah, we got a ch- Michael Brody Riley. Sup, Chuckle Crew. My name is Michael Brody Riley, and here's my yeah, it is. hot take. Fuck yeah. I don't like drinking my milk after my cereal. I think it's gross. It's dis- it's it's. I don't care if it's wasteful. It has a weird texture. It tastes weird. It's just not good, and you're a bad person for doing it. Mm. I can't. I can't necessarily s- support the moral the moral aspect of that of being a bad person for drinking milk after. Uh, mm, mm, I agree with depends. Michael Brody Riley. I agree with him. I agree. With I him. have mixed feelings on Michael Brody Riley. I like him. I think I'm in love with Michael. Bro- no, no. No. Explain that. I walked that back. Let's talk about it. I walked no, that let's back. Talk. No, no, I don't want to talk no, about it. No, let's walk that. forward. Let's follow that feeling. No, I be truthful. think that you don't have to drink the milk afterwards. I don't think, I don't care about being wasteful. What? I have to drink the fucking pint of milk after I put my Lucky Charms in it. You have a whole pint of milk left over after you... No, I don't want... Even if I had a whole quart of milk after it, it still doesn't change the fact that Taylor Swift and her fucking chief boyfriend is fucking flying each other out on private jets every night after the big game and the big concert. And it doesn't change the fact that... She is showing up to a lot of games. Ariana Grande, that fucking home wrecker... (laughs) With that mm-hmm. husband who left his wife and kid yes, to and be with her are probably putting out more carbon dioxide in a day than I'll ever do in my life? What? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so fuck you. I'll dump an entire gallon of milk down the drain right now. I'll see if I care. And if you think about it, care. like sometimes when the dairy industry ain't rocking and rolling and baking biscuits, they'll be like, they'll dump milk out. Like, you know how like the U.S. government's got like fucking like $3 billion of cheese in caves? No. So like the U.S. government has like $3 billion worth of, of cheese in That's caves. That's not true. That's not true. What? So the Department of Agriculture owns only a portion of the estimated oh, 1.4 billion, $1 billion pounds, pounds of, che- of cheese. Pounds, pounds of cold cheese. storage across the country. That's what I keep my Bitcoin in. Yeah, so... Uh, wow. This is a recent thing. Yeah, yeah, no, they've got... Uh, all of a sudden, they're like, we got to start putting this shit underground. <laughs> we, and not only that, we, we got to start putting this shit in the caves. We got to. <laughs> somebody was like, somebody came in and we were like, we got a lot of cheese. We got to put it somewhere. I was like, well, I've got the cave for you. Like somebody's been waiting to put some cheese in those caves. Yeah, no, the, I think it, I think, and I don't, 1.4 billion pounds of cheese. 
that's a lot of cheese. If you think about it, if you gave everyone a pound of cheese in America, everyone would get one pound of cheese for like four years. No. Yes. He's talking about an annual, an annual gift of cheese. You're talking about a, a, a yearly dividend of cheese? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How As we couldn't we pass the from, tax break from but... cereal milk. What? <laughs> Well, what, because we, what, if, if we crossed my mind, I was like, I was like, so I was talking about Taylor Swift flying around and I was like, well, he doesn't know the fact that the government's got a shit ton of cheese in caves cheese. and I got to talk about it. Yeah, they're keeping cheese in caves, man. I don't actually know what type of cheese could be Munster. Could I be it's Brie. Monster. I feel like it's pretty unlikely it's Brie. What I think it is, is probably a lot of cheddar, a lot of cheddar <sighs> in, in, in mm. Humbird cheese, uh, fucking in, in right. Toma, Wisconsin, Hunberg cheese, uh, fucking red wax. No, is what I they're want, in. I'll have the Munster and I'll have the Pepper Jack. What are you ordering from it now? You're order, <laughs> are you ordering from the? I'll have. Are the, you ordering from the cheese cave right now? <laughs> yeah, I, I'll have the Munster um, and uh, what are you, Mister Mister Trump? Um, I'll have the. <laughs> I'll have the the wheel of Pepper Jack, please. Yeah. yeah. What are the caverns bringing us today? What's in the lower caverns? Oh, yeah, no, we've got some... Oh, well, we've got a lot of Parmesan in the lower caverns. Mm. Wow. Cool. Okay, American cheese. I oh, think they just mean... I don't. I think they just mean it's like American-made cheese. I, I don't think it's American. American cheese isn't even cheese. Yeah, no, if there was, if there was 1.4 billion <laughs> pounds of craft American cheese in caves... Just fucking craft like, singles. Dude, just leave it there. <laughs> dude, that's a really hard photo of fucking Ronald Reagan holding up a block of cheese. Fuck yeah, dude. I like that. Wait, so what information have you learned from this article so far, Tucker? What, what pressing information about the cheese caves? Uh, I've learned that Ronald Reagan at one point held a five pound block of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> that is very apparent. You're right. It is there. Yeah, it is that there. Photo this is, is a pre, that photo is pre- almost as hard as fucking Michael Brody Ryan's name, Riley name. Yeah. Whatever his name is. <laughs> Forgot I it. wonder if Michael Brody Ryan knew that the cheese Riley, caves exist. Michael had Riley you, Brody? It has been itching to tell somebody about the cheese caves. Like that's it's, been living you know, in your honestly, head rent free, crossed, dude. No, there's been several times it's crossed my mind on the podcast, and I'm like, no, it's not the time. It's not the time to talk about the cheese caves. I'll find my Taylor per, Swift, my moment. dude. You were just talking about her. Wait, and it's also and a she got, did a got, wait, got, milk, a got ad. milk ad with Taylor Swift. Wow, on wow. It. What the f- wait? That's weird, though. No, you got to think about how you're not nearly as surprised as you that's should be. That's serendipitous. Tried. That's serendipitous. I <laughs> that, will say though, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Why are you saying it like Donald Trump? That's I'm not seren- surprised. I'm not surprised. She roots for the Chiefs. Yeah, Does she root for the Chiefs. <clears throat> they did the Bills dirty the other night. Wait, so can I can it. I read that? Can I read that? Oh, you left it. Can I? I want to read that last thing. It seems that we should not be asking people if they got milk, and instead think about how to use up the existing cheese supply without adding to it. Is that a problem? Are we adding to the cheese supply against our own will as a country? The funds used to subsidize the overproduction of dairy and, and maintain cheese caves may be better spent elsewhere. Oh, so this is like a production thing. So there. That's not just like to have, like they have so much cheese that they're keeping it all in caves and just not giving it away. And yeah, people are starving. I'll, I'll I'll throw out a hot take, Ted. I don't think my taxes should be going to fund a fucking cheese cave. I'll say it. <laughs> I'll say it. I mean, I, I think it's, uh, dare I say, better off going yeah. to the military. Yeah. Yeah. You know what would be interesting is if, and I think that they should do this in general. But if uh-huh. you paid your taxes, I feel like it'd be really cool and probably pretty easy for the government if they gave you a little receipt and it kind of showed you what that amount went to. So you could kind of understand what oh. where your tax money yeah. was going to. And like an okay. audit. I think that the cheese caves would go away real quick if somebody was like looking at their taxes and they just so happened to like 5% of their taxes going to like maintaining the cheese caves. Be like, 
the fuck is a cheese cave? <laughs> Like it's like it's not even cape. it's not equally weighted, and some person just gets their receipt back, and they're like, "I paid fucking thirty thousand dollars for a cheese cave." What? Yeah, yeah like it's All just like some taxes? people get some people get a hundred percent towards the cheese cave, some get like zero point one. Yeah. yeah, no, I think that'd be that would be great for our country to have that. Consider it. Hey. Consider it. Uh, whoever uh, Biden. Yeah, can think about it. Yeah. Or That'd the IRS. Really good, uh, good, uh. <laughs> yeah. Gunding. Can we go to the next one, please? I think I'm having a aneurysm. Okay, here comes Jay. Hello, Tucker and Ted and Schlatt, I guess. Uh, you were going to say my name and before you even I said Ted's Tucker name, but you changed your mind. Fuck um, you. I can't Whoa. hear what you that <laughs> Sauces are terrible. They're not good. Like, like sauce oh. on, a, on a hot, like ketchup on a burger. Oh, like fucking fries, white person detected. Oh, it's not enjoyable. Wee woo, wee woo. Too, There's uh, a fucking the cracker on the line. Wee woo, wee woo. Cracker on line one. The sauce, uh, the sauce is so <laughs> overpowering <laughs> and annoying. Uh, anyway, um, are we at the Ritz factory? Because I'm uh, hearing a lot of cracker in here. I hope you chuckle. I don't know. Sure. Not chuckling after I heard that one. So what yeah. did I don't, Tucker? Did you do, hear what you, you said? To, otherwise, or no? You guys were causing an absolute scene. She just said <laughs> sauces well, are she, bad. Yeah, we, you want to hear more? I, you want me to go no, back? I don't want to hear that again. Yeah, honestly, yeah. I mean that's all. Like you know, do we even? Need she was to like hear anti her ketchup, mustard, mayo. Or, you know, it's fucked. Oh, it's she's. Fucked. A, I mean, okay. I have some things to admit. Uh oh. You better not come out with a statement against mayo right now. No. Yeah, that that's what I was afraid he was going to no, do. No, no. Oh, oh, my God. Actually, no. I will, whenever I order a McDonald's quarter pounder, I will actually add mayo to it. Mm. Good choice. Which Good in, choice. which enhances and, and improves the... Gets you a step closer to Mac sauce. It does. But, you know, sometimes the Big Macs just don't. I feel like they're so messy. There's so, there's, I get so much lettuce. Like, the lettuce just... I feel like when I bite yeah, into a Big yeah. Mac, it explodes yeah, no. with lettuce. And I'm just yeah, like, the, what am I doing here? Listen, the the... the, the perfect burger from mcdonald's is a mcdouble you know why because it's two patties one slice of cheese and two buns and while you're in the drive Dude, you say love that Dude, while Tucker you're in the drive love that shit you say i'd like no ketchup on it just use mac sauce instead and then you get the best of every single world of mcdonald's oh, hamburgers in one sandwich i gotta try that damn yeah, dude fuck yeah well the thing i was going to say is that I think that sauces are really, really, really important. And I'm always a sucker, even a slut, for uh, an orange sauce. Orange And sauce. you know what I'm talking about. The orange sauce. Like duck could be, sauce? Could be, could be a Southwest mayo. Oh, okay. Could be I a see. Chipotle aioli. Could I be see. just like a, just like a, could be, could be quite literally from Rainforest or yeah, from Rainforest Cafe. It could be called Boom Boom Sauce, but mm. no matter what it is, it always slaps. What I will say, though, that's a potentially hot take, and maybe, you know, I might get screwed for this. I might. <clears throat> ready? Yeah. Hey, Tucker, are you Go ready? For it. Yes. For it. I think that marinara sauce reduces the quality and experience of a mozzarella stick. Yes, but it enhances the quality of a chicken parm. Fair. I don't like Italians. <laughs> so I'm going to hold off on this discussion. I don't even have an opinion. I don't think Italians even eat that stuff. Yeah, I don't even think they made it. I think it was, it was, I mean, Americans were mutations of the previous, you know, a lot of white Americans, mutations of the previous the European countries. folks. You know, you, you, you got a, you got a, an Italian person who's like walking around being Italian and then you br bring them to New York City and then they, they start walking around and they're like, how you doing? You know? How you, know you doing? I mean? How you doing? You know, how you doing? Yeah. And it's like, yeah. and it's like no, no. You, you, you know, you start calling things and stuff. It's like mozzarella. It's like, it's mozzarella. It's mozz. 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 You know? Mozz. Yeah, we're, mozz. Americans were mutations. Um, okay. And I think that the mozzarella stick is a mutation of maybe something from before. <laughs> but I will say... I think that like the marinara sauce 
it's unless it's like a fucking excellent delicious marinara sauce i think i think a chipotle aioli would be better in a mozzarella stick than 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 marinara sauce i think that a mar- like if a good mozzarella stick on its own you don't need you don't need anything else we just talked about this yeah because it's a like very a good mozzarella stick doesn't need any sauce because it should have a little grease when you bite in mm-hmm. that's why the you gotta eat it hot to come through the veins There's of the, the veins small of temperature window in which you gotta mm-hmm. get those things down yeah and it needs yeah, yeah. Well, when a mozzarella stick cools now that is a very tragic thing you can eat cold pizza you cannot eat a cold mozzarella stick it's like biting Squeaking. into a fucking stick yeah have you had a mozzarella yeah, stick before, Schlatt? I'm confused. I don't care more. about this Italian discourse. I don't <laughs> care. Yeah, and you can be whatever you want. I don't care if you're a mutation, a permutation, a perversion, whatever the fuck you want if you're spending $800 billion on your military every year. You can be whatever the fuck you want. Yeah, rock on, brother. We run the, we run the fucking world, dude. You kidding me? Yeah, fuck we yeah, we can have a cheese cave. Yeah, we do. We fuck got fuck. Yeah. We we've got we've got eleven, as far as I know, eleven aircraft carriers. How many there do you have? No, no country, France? no country even comes close to that amount uh-huh. of aircraft carriers. I don't even think any country has half of the aircraft carriers that we have. It's not Mm-mm. even. It's not even Mm-mm. close. Mm-mm. It is not even fucking close. I think we should. Be spending more money a year on our military. Dude, I want to put fucking, I want to put boots on the moon. That's really what I'm looking for. Like, Fuck. I'm thinking that we, if we get, if we get boots on the moon, we get like, we put like a straight up base there. There's nothing they're going to do. We start building a fucking artillery Bro, situation up there. you can drop fucking rocks from up there and they're going to get real quick on the way down. Yeah, they will. Yeah. As long as they don't burn up in the atmosphere, but we'll put some shielding make them on big them. Big enough. Yeah, you start make them pointing big them towards. Yeah. Start pointing them towards China. Think about it. <laughs> How you we'd doing? Make, we'd make more of those like funny little <laughs> landscapes with the with the tall rocks. You know. <laughs> Wait, what? No, nothing. Nothing. You talking about like cairns? No, you know the land from Avatar. That they flow through, flew through. With oh the two shit! Yeah, fucking helicopter with the two copter yeah. wings on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah rock yeah. on. Yeah, yeah. No, I want boots on the moon now. Policy idea policy? right now. Policy idea for the government, like a government policy. Yes, yes. We submit this. Okay. Change dot org. On change they have to, the, the White notably House the best a, place to create change in our society. Yes, the change. White House has a petitioning system where if a petition gets a hundred thousand votes they have to make a statement on it uh-huh here's oh, my that petition. is true it isn't it white house doc that's white house doc gov though yeah raise taxes on the wealthy uh-huh all the money goes to the military interesting all of it all the extra money that would be fucking awesome that would be crazy what you were gonna say <laughs> i mean that would be crazy yeah that would be good yeah. i think i think we tax the wealthy we put it towards the military we start getting hover tanks we probably already have them think about that tucker you're the military guy think about a hover tank applications think about that no more barbed wire no more barbed wire barbed wire yeah, ain't a problem is, anymore that is you a good float point. over it well usually we just blow it up because we're in a tank yeah i know but then but imagine how fast you can go in a tank that's floating that's terrifying. <laughs> that's a that's, that's a true. discussion for Elon. Mm. That's totally something he would fund. We're gonna beat. We gotta beat. We're gonna beat him to it. Uh, yeah, there you go. We're gonna beat Elon to it. We're gonna start putting boots on the moon, hover in the tanks, and we're gonna. Uh, I don't know. We're gonna put a fucking nuke on the on the Boston Dynamics robots or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I um, feel like this entire podcast episode sounds like we are absolutely wasted. But we're not. We're not. I'm, I'm actually I'm, fully sober. I'm having a good Thanks. time. I'm having a good time right now. I'm, I'm enjoying talking about this. How you doing? All right. <laughs> <You're doing. laughs> what's the ne- What's the next one? I think we answered this person's question. I don't actually remember what it was. Uh, we, I don't remember either. But it oh was yeah, good sauce. Enough. Mo- sauce is it's good. weird that they don't like sauce. Though I will say, with McDonald's fries, I don't actually really dip them in ketchup yeah. that often. Yeah. Yeah. 
it's a, it's a similar thing with the grease thing. Like I feel like the McDonald's fries are good enough on their own that you don't really need a fry to, or you don't really need a sauce to supplement it. And you can't let them get cold. You can't, you can't, you gotta, you gotta, and you gotta hold them, you gotta hold them like this. You gotta grab them like a fucking Velociraptor and shove them in like that one, uh, that one meme of the guy with all the cigarettes in his mouth. You know what I'm talking about? Mm. Ah, whatever. Next thing. <laughs> Here comes Grace. Hi, DLT. That's a uh, bed lat and tucker just to be clear um my okay. hot take is that it should be normalized to pick your nose and what should be taboo is what you do after you're done picking your nose like no. it should be okay to pick your nose but if you're gonna touch something and not wash your hands after then you're the freak kisses i mean if you use a tissue you can you can pick your nose you know yeah the, the the weird thing is when you actually stick a finger in there. That's why I have a bo a box of tissues with me at all times. I even carry those little, you know, those little like mini wrapped tissues. Always. Carry yeah, the ones that sometimes pack. are hard to get out of. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because they're folded in on themselves like four times. But yeah, I mean, I'd rather have that. This is pretty cut and dry. I mean, I just don't think it's socially it's going to be socially acceptable to pick your nose and also like. What, what what's gonna happen? Somebody's like someone's picking their nose, and then so, and then and then it, like somebody's like, oh, don't do that. And someone's like, no, wait, they haven't done anything. You gotta see. What, we'll, let's see what yeah. happens next. <laughs> like like we gotta we gotta hold your tongue, hold your tongue. Let's see where this goes. Like the, the, yeah. nobody's gonna do that. It's like no, it's gonna be like on that. seeing the thingy up there. That's where the reaction comes from. You know. Yeah, I don't. I don't like that. I don't like that. Yeah. Sorry, Grace. Sorry, dude. And also, she should be embarrassed. Here comes Aiden. Um, it's me. You don't know. One, I'm really thankful. Get a better no, podcast. no. You next one, next. Really, one. <laughs> Wait, no, no. I want to hear this. Doing? I want to see. No, I want to see this through. I've been listening. I want to see this through. Keep playing it, and I just want to say thank you, especially to you, Schlatt. I love you. I love you. Who? I love you. <laughs> wow. You were about to shut that fucker up, dude. You were about to shut that fucker up. And now he, and he's, he's professing his love to you. And you were about Aiden, to say, get him out of here. Aiden about to is take nothing him to the more to me dump. than a number on a fucking screen. A fraction a psycho. of the million. A psycho? I'm being You're realistic. hearing his voice. You're hearing I'm his voice. Realistic. You're hearing his vocal cords vibrate. I barely heard it because that <laughs> shit fucking microphone he's using. Fuck you, Aiden. Damn, sorry, Aiden. Aiden with a Y. <laughs> and if you're listening, if you're an audio listener, try to figure that one out. Even worse. Could be in the E zone, could be in the I zone. All right, okay. Evan. Evan. Hi, Ted and Schlatt. Evan here, calling oh, no, California. Call. But don't worry, not Hobo LA or shit Francisco. Fresno. I'm calling in to ask, what ice cube shape is the superior shape? Mm. Circle, less surface area, better for alcohol. The little nugs, good for munching on. Crescent, basic ass ice fridge water. And coolers are all it's good for. Cube, because cube, obviously there are more. Discuss. Also, Ted, get that new couch. I do got to get a new couch. That's so true. I do yeah. need to replace the fucking couch. And that's probably half the reason Tucker chose this for the, for the speak pipe. Um, We're not coming out until you get it. So I did hear mention of the chewable ice and you know, at the end of the day, ever since I went to style switch in Austin, Texas, and I got a soda uh, there, that really kind of changed my whole perspective. And I don't think I've ever really had chewable ice as good as that since, but I've tried uh, to find it. Um, I think, what, what did he specifically call it? Was it like this, this uh, Evan guy, what did he, he said it was basically chewable ice is, is the one I'm going for. The kind that you get out of the dispenser. Um, the Chick-fil-A ice. Yeah, no. I think. Worst Man, ice right? by far. Worst ice by far. You always wind up with a really shit. I, from Chick-fil-A especially, I got to specify, I want low light ice. Do not fill that fucking thing up because it'll be full of water by the end of it. Terrible. Yeah, but don't. Are you not an ice chewer? No. Ew, no. That hurts your teeth, man. No, it doesn't. Call me Chip Skylark, bitch. Dude, dude, her, chewing ice hurts about your teeth as much as chewing <laughs> chips, man. It hurts you. No, it doesn't. It hurts your teeth. 
What do you got? Weak bones, fucker? No. Bitch? No. I drink a pint uh, of milk a day. Asshole? Let me tell you what the best form of ice is. This one right here. Big. Oh, that's where you went. Cube, bitch. You seeing this? That's a I'm big it. fucking cube. I'm seeing that. You toss that in a fucking whiskey glass with a <laughs> with a little sippy of Buffalo Trace in there. My God. Yeah, I mean. Woo. Yes, yeah, sir. I guess. Yeah. Let me get I the Buffalo like... Trace. Let me get the <laughs> Buffalo Trace. <laughs> Dude, he can't resist having a little drink there. I don't know. I like I like chewable ice. If I had to choose, I mean, it, there is some charm in having a big, and having a big block of ice in a in a whiskey glass. You know, what do you think, Tugger? Mm, the chewable ice. The problem is, is like it's so small. If you get it at a restaurant, they fill it all the way up, and you get no soda. Yeah, yeah. you're done you, in two you, seconds. What, you got the Wait, Daddy, are you having what? a glass so of whiskey and a fucking cup? pizza Pizza Hut cup right now? Where'd you get that? Where'd you what? get that Pizza Hut cup from? What? Where'd, it's a what? dining hall cup right there. Yeah, that's a fucking no. That's a fucking Pizza Hut cup right there. I got it from Web Dining, store on dining store. hall dot cups com. would be much smaller, Tucker, because they don't want you to. They want you to do more than one trip. I got it from WebStorantStore dot com. <laughs> WebStorantStore dot com. <laughs> Webstaurant store. This is a that's a long laugh you're giving me right now. <laughs> oh. Red cup. Mm. How'd you find that so quick? Is it this one? Maybe. Why'd you buy all these Pizza Hut cups? Because I got a good deal on them on Webster Run Store. <laughs> what? It is a silly name, isn't it? Webster Run Store. Oh. <laughs> Red Webster Run Store. This Wait, is where you get all Buffalo your shit. Buffalo Trace got me feeling fucking, fucking hot, like a G6 right now. <laughs> Wait, they got Webster boots and Run. benches too. They got everything on Websterant. Wait, this is awesome. They got everything in bulk. Do they have a new couch? No. Dude, they've got, <laughs> they don't, but they've got booth <laughs> seats. They've got like practically the, the seating that we sat at in the first chuckle sandwich thing. Fuck yeah, dude. That's where all the restaurant owners shop on the web. At WebstaurantStore.com? <laughs> yes, Webstaurant Store. You dude, don't know that's... about this? I didn't know about this, but I'll tell you one thing. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what. How you doing? Um, huh? I would. Uh, I would if I had like. And I'm thinking more in terms of like if I was a little kid and I was making little kid choices, which are semi little choices I'd make now. I'd get like uh -huh. one a like a big booth thing where it's like everyone's mm. got to slide in, and I'd make that my like dinner table setup. That'd be fucking awesome, man. Yeah, that'd be. Fun. And you know what? I'd get like an old jukebox that you flip through. You know. You know the yeah. mini table size jukebox? You put a quarter yeah. in and you got to flip it with that big disc that you spin and it switches like four pages at a time. Fuck. Yeah. 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 wonder if they sell I like it on WebsterRantStore.com. I like that. You think they got, you think they got that on WebsterRant? Damn, are you sponsored by these people or something? Yeah. No. Yeah. You keep saying oh. the name over and over again very specifically. <laughs> WebsterRantStore does not sponsor me. <laughs> I don't have a business account with WebsterRantStore either. Dot com. Oh my god, man! They got they got storage racks. They got commercial they got shelving. They got everything. They got insulated food and beverage carriers. They've everything. got janitorial supplies. Hey, you know what their motto is? You want it, they got it. That's what they say. Imagine if I I or if I got myself for if I buy a home, I get myself a commercial dishwasher. I'm talking about the kind that like you pull it down and it oh, and it goes. Yeah. That would be great. Fuck yeah, dude! You should get a commercial toaster. Like a vertical toaster. You could get like 600 slices of bread a minute. Yes. Um, I don't even know what I'd need that for, but it would work. It'd be awesome. You got to heat Dude, it up. For industrial like shelving. Yeah. Packing tables. Industrial workbenches. Yeah. This is great. Hey, Tucker, let's do another one. Let's do another okay, one. Okay, let's do... Uh, no, no, Guillermo. no, I'm not done. I'm still looking. Oh, no, 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 no. Get off Webster Run store. We'll keep it for later. I can't. I can't. I am fucked up off this buffalo. Guillermo, trace. Guillermo. Hi, Ted. Hi, Slat. 
my hot take is that Jackie Kennedy started cars for kids on her deathbed so she could spread the consumption of scrap metal among the youth of America. Do you think they give them the fucking cars? Are you stupid? You think 1-800-CARS-FOR-KIDS is give, it's just it's like for they're eating. taking the car and they give it to someone? No. Oh, well, yeah. Well, the fuck actually, is your problem? They fucking flip it to Carvana. No, I, ch- I changed my mind. People could think. People could think it'd be like, oh, it's like a soup kitchen. For kids. I fucking hated that commercial growing up. For eating metal, dude. And yet you can, yeah, 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 yeah. and yet you can recite it. You can recite it, can't you? All my most unfavorite commercials, I can recite. Well, I'll tell you one that's smooth and good. Okay. Eight hundred five eighty two three hundred Empire today. today. I was now just that. thinking that. Is art right there? Yeah, I'll get, let me tell mm, you. Let me tell you mm-hmm. one that I really remember. Hi, I'm Uncle Magic, the hip hop magician, and I'm Shaquem the Clown. I'm Dude. the one that celebrities call for their kids' birthday parties. No, Dude. I'm the one that celebrities Dude. call for their kids' birthday parties. Slap. I have no idea what you're talking. About. <laughs> <laughs> you sound <laughs> insane. <laughs> I have. <laughs> we have magic shows, games no, for kids, going. popcorn no, machines, cotton candy machines, and bouncing castle. Call for your kids' birthday parties. Oh, two I one would two, not call six this one man. three. Magic. Who's your favorite uncle? Uncle Magic. Dude, that's. Cool. I need to watch this. Uncle Magic. <laughs> Dude, I've never, ever seen this individual in my life. Damn, you were pretty good at this. You were. You were excellent. Wait, you know the whole script. Who's your favorite uncle? Wow. I even got the the bro fist at the end. Oh my god, well, that was a that's roller coaster, just nostalgia. dude. That's I was, just... dude. I haven't had that happen in a long time, where somebody just full confidence recites something that's completely nostalgic to them, and it, and just like Tucker and I are sitting here, and we've got no clue what you're talking about. Yeah. Oh good man, good times, man. Good vibes, Uncle Matt. So that's, he came that's to my birthday wild. party once. He did. Yeah. He came to your, you met him. Yeah. And Shaquem the Clown. This guy seems like a celebrity. Dude, that video has well, no, 240,000 well, no. views. The celebrities views. call him for their kids' birthday parties. <laughs> I like, there's, we have no evidence if that's true, too. Like, he's just, he could just be saying that. He I have no idea that. where Uncle Magic got the budget to run as many commercials as he did, but I heard him yeah. every fucking hour. Man, he must have been doing like four birthdays a day <laughs> to be able to afford the marketing budget. How many? <laughs> dude must have dude must have been speeding fuck? along the streets. Bro, of, where, how fucking localized was this ad to my area that dude, that dude is advertising that much? There's only one Uncle Magic. It didn't dude, make it doesn't make any fucking sense. Dude, now that, that I think is, about it. That is crazy. That is awesome. I mean, I'll tell you one thing. Would you? What about <laughs> I, what commercial I hated as a kid was Bob's Discount Furniture. Oh, wow. Bob's the guy Bob. Bob's yeah, Discount Bob. Furniture. Yeah, I know. Fucking everyone knows them. Bob, dude. Yeah, Bob's Discount. Yeah, no. Furniture. He he always showed up in the commercial. I'd be like, I fucking hate you. I fucking hate you. Got but then there'd be Dexter. Jordan's Furniture, where the Jordan's where the guy furniture. with the ponytail would come on, and he was like a sponsor of the Boston Red Sox. Yeah. That's more of a local thing. Oh, that was there'd great. be like this old guy with a ponytail that would come on, and he would just be chatting. And I, and I remember thinking as a kid, this guy is the coolest motherfucker I've ever seen because you never see adults just rocking a ponytail, not especially not in the in the two thousands. Just like it's unheard of, you know? Yeah. This guy rolls in. He's got, he's he's rocking a fucking. He's he, he's rolling in. He's going. How you doing? And he's got his fucking how ponytail. Doing? How you doing? Uh, Look at hey, this guy. If, if anyone 
if anyone listening to the Chuckle Sandwich podcast ever had Uncle Magic come to your birthday party as well, can you <laughs> confirm that the Magic Show is just him pouring a can of Coke into a glass? Or did he only do that for me? <laughs> let us know, please. Please let, let us, us know. know about let this. Let us know. Also, not a fun name. Not a super fun name for a guy, a child, children's entertainer. Uncle, Uncle Magic. Magic, the hip hop uh, magician. Uh, just, but like that Uncle was his Magic, name. and shock him the clown, <laughs> and shock shock him the clown. Did yeah. we see shock him the clown? Is that the same? Is you he sure the did. same guy? You sure did. Did he just change? Go back to into the commercial. The... No, no, no. Okay. Go back to the yeah, commercial. Yeah, no. Bring yeah, no. Bring up the commercial. Did he change yeah. into? Or is that a different individual? Is he Listen, a, a, all is I'll say twin? is I never saw him in the same room. <laughs> yeah, he just poured Coke into a cup for the magic show. There, there it is! There yeah, it no, is! That's exactly what he did! He poured a Coke into a glass! But he's was not the glass, holding the glass. That was the yeah, whole no, the magic glass. trick! The glass is floating, though. No, he was holding the fucking thing. So, so what? So, what's the trick then? Popcorn machine, cotton candy machine, and a bouncy castle. Didn't even bring the fucking bouncy castle. I guess my parents didn't pay for the bouncy castle. <laughs> Popcorn as a product is pretty, pretty, uh, pretty <sighs> magical. You know, it's like yeah. it starts as a kernel, and then it's like not that thing, and yeah. you can eat it. That's true. That's true. It's also magical how. Without fail, every time I go to the movies to get popcorn, I will always get some of that kernel stuck in my mm. teeth, and it will be yeah. oh yeah, it will it will haunt me. Mm. Oh man, that was a roller coaster, man. What's the next speak pipe? Here comes Kate. <laughs> hi Ted, hi Schlatt. Hey. Um, hope you're having a lovely day. My hot take is that Ted's glasses are definitely fake, and they don't even do anything. Well, that's a bold thing to say. Um, they are very real. I would be in danger if I drove without my glasses on. I mean, I can, I don't, I don't need to be fucking legally blind in order to have glasses that are real. I'm offended, actually. Now, Tucker knows. Tucker backed me up with real glasses. Well, didn't you go through a period where you weren't wearing them? Yeah, I was wearing, what, daily, what was that? I was wearing daily contacts. No. He's yes. calling himself Theo too. Yes, I was wearing asshole. That was, was during his Theo phase. No, it wasn't actually because I'm I'm I have just I just I need to get a new I've honestly been thinking about wearing contacts again because I but I just can't I'm I've been going through my longest period of wearing my glasses because I just <clears throat> haven't really gotten around to going to the um the glasses person to be like, hey, can I have a prescription for contacts, please? Mm. Did you know in Illinois, also known as Illinois, in order to get contacts, I learned this from Eddie Burback, you have to prove that you can put them in within a, an allotted time period or they won't let you have them. Wow. I just thought that that cool. was a little silly. Yeah, that is a little silly. Yeah. Yeah, no, but my glasses are real. I need them to see. I need them to see. It's on my license. I've got corrective lenses. <clears throat> I got my pair of glasses in. What do they look like? They're uh, aviators. Prescription aviators? Yeah. Uh-huh. Like Joe Biden. Oh, cool. Shout out, Gabriel. Shout out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he, gave me the, he gave me the pair. He was working the front desk at the place. He gave you his? No, no. He got my prescription. Oh, and then uh, he handed the, me the glasses and uh, he said, hey, man, are you the famous YouTuber? And I Just went, that? <laughs> yeah, I am. Give me my are you glasses, slipping for a man. kiss, too. Like, why do you oh, say it like that? <laughs> oh, man, I put them on and then I asked him, hey, Gabriel, do these make me look like a serial killer? And he and said, <laughs> yeah, kind of. Yeah. And then Shout you out went, Gabriel. And then you smiled at him and left without saying another word, I imagine. Let me go find him. Let me go find him. All right. I found him. They weren't too far away. Sweet. 
Put those shit on. Oh, you got it. Oh, we got the J Schlatt with the low taper fade. Huh? Nothing. Don't worry, don't worry about it. What's going on? What's going on? Mm, you got Schlatt with the low taper fade. Ted, are you upset that Schlatt has nicer hair than you? Um, Tucker, Adeline. Adeline. Uh, sorry, dude. Hot take episode. If I could spank you, I would. If I could spank ah, you, I would. Yeah, I'd love that. Nah, yeah, I'm sure you would. Hey, me and Tucker are becoming <laughs> great friends recently on this podcast. Everything I say just lights up his face like a Christmas tree. Absolutely. It does. Yeah. Honestly, you could, dude, it's funny when you see, when something you say, like when, when it really tickles Tucker, cause you can see him trying to keep himself like silent and not <laughs> involve himself. Oh, what do we think? What these do we think? are not aviators. These are, they are, oh, are they technically considered aviators even without the sunglasses portion? What are you talking about? They are aviators. Wow. Yeah, no, I mean, I didn't understand what you were talking about earlier when it came to the serial killer look, but I mean, I mean, like, I mean, like, that's yeah, smolder. Dude. Yeah, like, I mean, like, <laughs> dude, that's, I'll tell you what, I, if you're wondering, though, if you really don't, if the jury's still on, out on whether or not you are, you know, a serial killer look, I say get yourself, like, the greasiest sweater you got gray. Put some, put some, like, fucking... <laughs> put some jeans on and like just go to like a corner and put your hands like all the way in your pockets not like the cool kind where your thumb's no, no, sticking no, no. out I'll, put your I'll put stand full like fist this, like... <laughs> yeah no that's good that's good yeah 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 <laughs> and look around yeah and look around a lot and if somebody walks by maybe like stare at yeah stare at them or follow them for like maybe 30 paces and then like turn around <laughs> if they notice yeah, I got a silver pair too. Well, that's good. It's good to have options when, it, yeah. when constructing the outfit we were just describing. Yeah. Oh, nice, dude. Well, I'm I'm proud yeah. of you. Why? I don't know. I I my vision is degrading, dude. Dude, that's, that's why I have these. Why are you I didn't know, I didn't know how to respond to that at all. No one's ever asked me why when I say I'm proud of them. That was crazy. Why? I mean, I feel bad I got now this, for these saying glasses, I was proud of you. These glasses are a result of my vision degrading. So, like, why did you? What are you congratulating me for? What did I do? I don't know. For uh, listen, hey, man, congrats, sorry, man, on dude, your I'm health sorry. condition worsening, dude. Congrats, on I'm your sorry. I'm sorry. Your I'm sorry. Your fucking eyeballs are weirdly shaped. That you. That you. That you. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm more sorry that like he said that you looked like a serial killer and you walked out of that store with him on still no no i wanted i wanted you that's why i got the aviators on? yeah is this i like wanted the, to is look this like, like a fucking serial killer is this the facial hair part two thing like this is this is all because of your face reveal i look i just i don't think regular glasses would fit me you know i feel like the only way this works is if i'm Yeah, no, that does work. That does work. Audio listeners love you to death. Slad is standing kind of like with his hands in a bit of a velociraptor form where he's got his 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 left hand kind of oh. cupping and holding his wrist so his so his right hand kind of like hangs down. Um and it's pretty scary. It's pretty scary. Uh and speaking of uh yeah, no, this is good. I think I think this will work, Slad. There's been a there's been a killer. There's been a killer running around Austin. I think that people might actually not recognize you as much with no, those glasses fuck on. No, 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 no. I think no. I think that it does actually change your face a lot, though. I think it makes you it? less recognizable. Really? I think it does actually make you less recognizable, Tucker. What do you think? Mm, it's gonna be hard to beat the chops, dude. Oh no, the chops are like. I know. Such a, I can't see past them most of the time. I'm looking at them and just like. Bro, at I saw people. one fucking person in my life with mutton chops. One other person at fucking Barnes and Noble, and he walks right by me. I'm like, my face is lit up. I'm like, dude, and he just he doesn't even look at me. The fuck? The fuck He's is probably that all about? how old was he? How old did he look? He was like my age. Oh. I was like, bro, nice. And he just did not even fucking acknowledge me. I was going to say, he could have been like an experienced chop. 
What if he was imitating you and he saw you, but he didn't know it was you? He's like, look at this fucking Latin person here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck. <laughs> My He's job's never are better. Get as good as me. I got this damn pat. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna acknowledge this guy. Dude, sometimes I do think about like what percentage of people with mutton chops currently are doing it because of me. I feel like it's a non-zero. Like it, it could be, could very well be one percent of all the people with mutton Dude, I, chops. I think it could be fifty percent. I think anyone under your age, Schlatt, oh, yeah. gotta be in gotta be in the upper percentiles. Like it's it's gotta 100%. be more than fifty yeah. percent. Like yeah, probably, probably. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm gonna get. There's gonna be a rise in aviators too. Rise <laughs> in aviators and chop combo. I mean, I think that that's a bit of a '70s look, though. Yeah. And a, a rise in serial and killers. '60s look that I I feel like maybe didn't go away as much. Whereas the mutton chops are more of like. An 1810s look that kind of went away a while ago. True. That's true. Yeah, um, that's true. That's fair. But but hey, keep you warm in the winter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think we've got time for one more. What do you say? What do you say? I'll do one more. I'll do. I got plenty of time now. That Buffalo Trace has gotten me loose. One more hot take. Give us our. Give us your best hot take, Tucker. I want the best one. I, I don't know. This is Grace. We might have had a Grace already. I Hi, hate Jared. bitches Hi, named Shad. Grace. I hate <laughs> bitches named Grace. Is that there are simply not enough convenience stores and gas stations in any of the national parks, <laughs> and it's really not feasible for the amount of travel they expect visitors to do. Um, thank you. Sounds like oh, somebody I, ran out of gas. I, I picked this one because I hated it. Yeah. Sounds like somebody ran out of gas and didn't think ahead. Wait, you want us? What do you, what do you want us putting fucking uh, putting a fucking Seven Eleven on the going to the Sun Trail in Glacier National Park? Like what, she's what, talking what? like it's an amusement park. Like she's like it's yeah. it's more than they expect us to do. <clears throat> I'm like you don't have to go. Like it's not an amusement ride. Yeah, she she's talking about national, not even national monuments, like national parks. Yeah, yeah. like I feel like the parks are already <clears throat> like too, like modern. Yeah, they got gift you know? stores. They've got yeah, like shops. it's already too much yeah. shit. All the roads you are paved. Be, I'll tell you one thing though, Tucker. You would be surprised with the amount of like backcountry land there is in most national parks, though. Oh yeah, yeah. If there's an there's an insane amount of backcountry area in like Yosemite and stuff where it's like they just yeah. there's not anything marked and stuff, and it's like you go in there and you just survive. The main drag um, of Yosemite though is pretty brutal. In terms of yeah. like people and traffic and capitalism, good time to go is April. I found April. Mm. I love gas stations. I love convenience stores. One of my favorite <laughs> oh, things about go. Japan. What? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. One no. Just tell us no, why no, we no. gotta put. Why we gotta put up a bunch. Uh, a put a fucking loves in <laughs> in, in, in in fucking Grand Canyon like tell, tell me why no, we got to put a fucking I'm, sheets I'm not saying shit I'm not saying shit about putting sheets in the fucking Grand Canyon I'm saying there should be more around where we live I'm saying fix the fucking zoning sh fucking problems with this country and get some goddamn family marts right outside my door so I could go I... there at 3 in the morning and get a fucking tall boy for 70 cents you know the fuck there the is fuck some, walk into a strip mall there, there is some charm of being able to walk to stores like for the stuff that's in my area that i can walk to that's it's pretty nice like there's a, like a place that has breakfast that i can walk to from where i live yeah and that's awesome dude in japan you are a two-minute walk away from the convenience store at yeah, and like any tokyo fucking, no, any bro, anywhere. I'm telling you. What about anywhere, like middle of nowhere places? Like, what about the place that they moved to in my neighbor Totoro? They got a family mart right next they, to right there. They don't. They got a family they don't. They mart. It's open twenty four seven. Yeah, it's open twenty four seven. You walk in at three a.m. They say Ohio no goes on. No way. Yes, in the they town do. that my yes, neighbor Totoro was they in, they had a family. Do. Mart. Yes, they do. They had a family mart. They just Ted, he's been shelter. there. That wasn't part of Hayao Miyazaki's vision. <laughs> and let me tell Man. you something you get you walk out of the family mart and across the street there's a there's another one i want to go to japan you should i want to go you should i'm going again this year probably twice maybe three times i'll come with okay. i'm trying to travel more just for the shits and gigs yeah. you should just you for should. the shits you and gigs because more. i can't i need to get my new passport though i need to get my new passport 
You do need to do that. You yeah. should do that. But yeah, I mean, oh, I don't know. What, 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 I don't know. I don't know. We've, we've had Grace. some rough endings to podcasts lately. We we don't Fuck know how to you, fucking put a cap Grace. on some of this shit. I'll put a cap. I'll pop a cap in Grace in that little kill zone of Yellowstone in Idaho. You know, that little square where there's no laws. Mm-hmm. Chucklers send in fuck, Mary kills. Chucklers send in fuck, Mary kills. Fuck, Mary kills is the next episode of Chuckle Chucklers Sandwich. Chucklers for the next be the, Go to speakbike.com slash Chuckle Sandwich. Oh, yeah. Send, in send in fuck, your, Mary kills, baby. Your most egregious could be most controversial whatever fuck Mary mm-hmm. kills if you don't know fuck how Mary fuck Mary kill works it's basically three options and we will choose which we want to fuck which one we want to marry and which one we want to kill so please you send think those that in would be like you know uh, ascertainable from the title fuck Mary kill yeah yeah no I will I am wasted. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. <laughs> All right, man. I'll, I'll talk. I'll talk to you next week. Then okay. Good to see you. I got some people to kill. Yeah, honestly, I'll. I'll say without the without the headphones on. Actually, I'm. I, this is a. This is kind of a look. Huh? huh? It looked more intense with the headphones on, but the glasses do look good with without the headphones on. It's like a vibe. I'm vibing with it. You think? Yeah. No, you're looking good right now. I like this. I genuinely like this. This is a you got a crisp cut. You think so? You think yeah. I look hot? Yeah, I'm proud of you. Would you fuck me or would you marry me? Or would you I'd kill, kill you? Me? Okay. Well, I was gonna fuck you. And marry Tucker. And kill Charlie. Which means I got two to go. <laughs>